what's the fastest way to get into ketosis? <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny question because there's no real context to it most of the time, right? Uh, something we talk about here a lot is putting things into their proper context. And that includes a ketogenic diet, right? There's different contexts for keto. There's different reasons that people do a ketogenic diet. Most people that are asking this question, however, are not asking it because they're doing a medical ketogenic diet and they need to be in ketosis. They gotta get their ketones high. Most people are actually asking this question because they wanna lose body fat, right? They've heard about a ketogenic diet, ketosis, there's a lot of it, there's a lot of stuff being marketed out there right now. There's a lot of repetition, right? When something becomes popular, a lot of people jump on that wave and ride it. And unfortunately, a lot of the banter and a lot of the chatter out there is just repetition, right? Repetition, repetition, repetition. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes repetition is good, right? Like repeating good habits. But repeating poor information, repeating poor out of context, advice and uh, getting people to hyper focus on the wrong metrics can be problematic now let me put this into context for you most of the people who come to me most of the clients that i work with are doing a ketogenic diet for fat loss right many people want to do keto like me like i'm not doing keto for fat loss now initially i did use it to lose body fat now i just maintain this body fat level fluctuates throughout the year because I do include some seasonal carbohydrates, right? I'm not a zealot. This is not a religion for me. <laughs> this is just a lifestyle choice that I found improves my life. Helps me to function better. Helps my mind to be more dialed in. Helps me to be a little bit more patient and feel a little bit more balanced through the increased GABA production that comes with a ketogenic diet and the state of ketosis. Now, back to the question in the context. What is the fastest way to get into ketosis? Well, what I usually ask people, sometimes clients will ask me that, <laughs> you know, they'll, you know, every once in a while, somebody will slip off and they'll come back and they'll say, hey, what's, you know, I, I ate this and that. I had pizza yesterday. I went to a barbecue, drank some beer, had some pizza, had a good time, but now I don't feel so good. How do I get back into ketosis? Um, all right. The fastest way to get back into ketosis, the most useful way to get into ketosis is not buying expensive exogenous ketones is not eating as much fat as you can right and it is not it doesn't have to do with anything putting anything in your body actually the fastest way to get into ketosis is through straight up fasting that's how we get into ketosis historically most of the time there are times of the year that we just don't have a lot of carbohydrates. There are feast famine cycles that we go through historically that we have to deal with, right? Food production is based on light cycles. During long light cycles, carbohydrates are readily available in areas that have a lot of sunlight. You know, I live in the, I live in the Andes of Ecuador. We have sunlight year round, 12 hour days, right? Carbohydrates grow here year round. Not everywhere is like this. There's certain places on earth, like where my ancestors came from, that don't have lots of carbohydrates all year long, right? So this feast famine cycle is a normal thing. We're used to going without food for long periods of time occasionally. Of course, our modern society where everything is so comfortable, where everything is so cushy, where everything is so sterile, pre-packaged, right? We can get this stuff whenever we want. You walk into 7-Eleven and grab junk food at any time of the day. You can walk into a grocery store, most of these grocery stores are open like 24 hours. You can get stuff any time of the day. So that famine never really comes. It's part of the reason why so many of us have issues with maintaining body weight. Not the only reason, but part of it. So, what's the fastest way to get into ketosis? Well, it's just not eating, right? These exogenous ketone supplements, yeah, they'll put you in ketosis, they'll put ketones in your blood. But those things aren't gonna give you the metabolic machinery to actually use those ketones, to actually process those, fat, to process fatty acids from your body or from the diet into ketones and use them. We need to generate more mitochondria in order to use the ketones. 
So taking this, these exogenous ketones, first of all, they're super expensive. Second of all, they send some people run to the bathroom not feeling so great. And I don't like how they taste. I don't like how they feel, how I feel when I take them. So I'm not a big fan of them, but I know they do have their context, right? The fastest way to get into ketosis, the normal way that human beings enter into ketosis is just straight up not eating. Just food restriction, starvation. <laughs> now I'm not recommending that's how you try to get into ketosis. In fact, I would ask you, why do you think it's so important that you are in ketosis? If you're going for a keto diet for fat loss, higher blood ketones do not equal more fat loss. Let me repeat that. More ketones don't equal more fat loss. Yeah? Chasing ketones does not get you results as far as losing body fat. You have gotta get that in your head. <laughs> ketones in excess can be pissed out to float around in your blood. You could push them up through eating a bunch of MCT oil. Um, you could starve yourself. You can eat loads of MCT rich fats, coconut oil, stuff like that. And you could push the ketones up in your blood. But what does that even mean? That just means you have more ketones in your blood, right? I mean, with glucose, for instance, nobody's asking, how can I get more glucose? How can I get higher blood glucose numbers? Right? This is an energy substrate. It's not like putting more energy into your, it's not like putting a bunch of more gas in your gas tank is going to make you have better gas mileage and make your car go faster and drive better. You've just got more fuel in the tank. Right? All right. So in a ketogenic diet for fat loss, the goal is not to have high ketones. The goal is fat loss. So when you're doing a diet, when you're doing anything, it's really important that we ask ourselves, why am I doing this? I mean, this is not just like something that we should practice as far as like diet or oh, ketones. Why, why do I want higher ketones? Or why do I want to do this diet? Why do I want to change my life? Why do I want to lose weight? Right? But it's, it could be important to ask that about more subtle things too, right? Like, why do I feel this way about this person? Or why do I lash out whenever my wife does this? Or why do I not have more patience with my children? Or why do I always get, you know, it can be important to ask ourselves why. So, why do you think that higher blood ketones equals more fat loss? Because they're not equal. More ketones doesn't equal more fat loss. That's the point of this video. They've done studies, long-term studies, when a ketogenic diet is administered to people. They found that the ketones, they were measuring blood ketones in the beginning. And fat loss was relative, was pretty rapid. And the ketones were about one, I think it was about 1.1 millimolars on average, right? Then after six months of a ketogenic diet, long, this is long-term keto study on obese people, they were still losing body fat at the same rate, but their blood ketones on average dropped down to about 0.5. What is that showing? Is that showing that they're not making progress? Does that mean they're failures? Are they not in ketosis? Are they subhuman glucose burning, disgusting, <laughs> infidels no their ketones dropped because they're probably using them more efficiently and this is a theory right I think their ketones probably drop because they're using them more efficiently more ketones in your blood doesn't mean ooh great I have more energy I'm doing better more ketones in your blood could mean that your body's getting flooded with those ketones and can't use them and has nowhere to put them right like ketoacidosis in type 1 diabetics that's the issue runaway glucose runaway ketone production without insulin to shuttle these nutrients where they need to go and clear the blood out. I've talked to a lot of people who chased ketones and it's funny because many of them will tell me that when they got up to like two, three and higher of the ketones when they were chasing them, chasing their tail, chasing ketones, that they didn't even feel as good. They didn't enjoy it as much. Like they felt nauseous or a little bit loopy or like kind of cracked out and stuff. And it does make sense. Excess energy substrate in your blood it's not doing anything for you. It's just circulating. Anything above 0.5 is ketosis, but if you're going for fat loss, please don't waste your money measuring your blood ketones all the time. I'd way rather have you taking waist measurements. I'd way rather have you do a daily weigh-in to see if you're making progress. I'd way rather measure your body fat levels than your blood ketone levels. So there you go. You can find more at primaledgehealth.com. Um, We've got loads of stuff on the website. If you're looking for, so if you're doing a ketogenic diet for fat loss, one of the things about a lot of the info that's online, 
Most of the information online is geared towards medical ketogenic diets. They're repeating ad nauseum information concerning medical keto, which is a weight stable diet. It was developed for children with epilepsy who would lose massive amounts of weight when they were administered this diet. So they needed to push the fats up very, very high and keep those ketones up high and keep the calories up very high. But if you're doing a keto diet for fat loss, you've got body fat to burn. So the 80% fat thing is irrelevant. I've said this many times. You can check out some of my other videos on that. But one of the issues out there is kind of the food prep side of it, the information on food prep can be so fat heavy where it's like people putting just 60, 70, 80 grams of fat in every meal. Whereas people who are trying to lose body fat need fat loss friendly macros and their foods that they're eating, right? Uh, so this is one of the reasons why when we made the Ketogenic Edge cookbook, when my wife worked on these recipes for over a year and a half, Jessica made sure that all the recipes are fat loss friendly, right? Because she was just coming, she had given birth to Ariana a couple years before, she wanted to get her body composition in line. These are fat loss friendly macros that she was making these recipes for us. And all the clients that we've worked with over the years have kind of told us the same thing, that some of them had problems finding recipes that would fit into their macros for fat loss, right? Because they're just so fat, how fat heavy. And of course you can adjust the macros on recipes and stuff like that, but check out the Ketogenic Edge cookbook on our website. It's available exclusively at primaledgehealth.com. It's not on Amazon. Jeff Bezos, you're not taking that. Um, you can't find it anywhere else, only on primaledgehealth.com. It's available in ebook format. Uh, she worked on this book for over a year and a half. It's all fat loss friendly macros. All the recipes have got macros. <laughs> and they're all nutrient dense whole foods ingredients, right? It's not a bunch of junk food. Right, this isn't just like, you know, Ritz crackers, cheese and crackers, keto crap. These are high quality nutrient dense foods. The focus is to get as much nutrient density and as much bang for the buck in the diet as we can, right? It's like we make those calories that we eat count. <laughs> All right. So check out PrimalEdgeHealth.com. Check out the Ketogenic Edge Cookbook, a training manual for low carbohydrate ketogenic and paleo cuisine that's available exclusively on our website you see that right there you see that light coming through it's like ruining the shot a little bit that's a nutrient too get out in life get out in the sun feel that on your skin you need it i'm gonna go get some more of that before it sets for the day peace